there lovely people and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl St Rose and today I'm back with another video. So in today's video I'll be showing you how to minimise shrinkage when your hair is in a wash and go. But before we get into that I just wanted to quickly talk to you about shrinkage. Now even though shrinkage can be a right pain in the backside it's actually a really good thing. It shows that your hair is healthy, thriving and full of moisture. The only thing that's not so great about shrinkage is that it makes your hair look a lot shorter than its true length. My hair actually shrinks about 75% of its true length. What that means is that if I wear my hair in its shrunken state, it looks really short, like I have about 3 inches of hair, but in reality, my hair's actually past shoulder length. Now, the opposite of your hair being shrunken is your hair being stretched. And stretching your hair can have a lot of positives, as long as it's done correctly. So in today's video, I'll be showing you two methods on how to stretch your wash and go. In this first technique, I'm going to be using the African banding method to stretch out the root of my wash and go. My hair has been freshly washed and deep conditioned, ready to do this process. So the first thing I'm going to do is finger detangle my hair to make sure that there are no knots and tangles. I recommend finger detangling rather than using a brush or comb because your fingers can actually feel when there's knots. Whereas if you use a brush or a comb, the only time you're going to realise there is a knot in your hair is when you've really brushed through it. Now that my hair is nicely detangled, I'm going to apply the hairband. To make things easier, I'm using a hairband that's the complete opposite of my hair colour. Doing the African banding method is very easy. All you need to do is to wrap the hairband around your hair. But instead of wrapping in the same place, you just put the hairband a bit lower each time you wrap it around. I definitely recommend using this method because you do not need to use any heat. The only downside is, depending on how thick your hair is, it may take a day to dry. Because we are doing a wash and go, I did leave the ends free. That is because I'm going to apply gel to the ends of my hair. Now on the other side, I'm just going to use hair gel without stretching the roots so we can compare to the African banding method. Once my hair was dry, I took off the hairband and this is what it looked like. You can see that the ends of my hair are a lot more curlier than the roots. But the root of my hair is still stretched, giving the illusion that my hair looks longer. Now comparing each side, you can definitely see that the side that had the African banding method done to it is a lot longer than the other side that just had hair gel. For the second technique, we are going to be using heat instead of using the African banding method. The only difference between this method and the other method is that this method will be using heat and it will save you a lot of time. Just make sure you have a good heat protector. While stretching the roots of my hair, I'll be using something called the tension method. The tension method minimises the amount of manipulation you're putting on your hair. The downside to this is that even though you're using a heat protector, it can still be damaging for your hair. To do the tension method, all you need to do is pull your hair taut and simply blow dry your hair. When doing this, I make sure that I do not put heat at the ends of my hair. This is because I still want the ends of my hair damp. Leaving the ends of my hair damp allows it to curl more easily when I apply the hair gel. Next, all I did was do this all over my hair and then voila, we're done. Here's a clip of what my hair looked like when I did a wash and go without stretching it. And here is what my hair looked like when I did stretch it. So that's it for now guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.